channel. Let me introduce myself for those who don't know me. I'm Azla and I'm studying a public health. So to those who don't watch my video yet yeah, of live in uh, as an internship student, so go watch it out and check it out so you understand. In this video, I want to make a QA section to answer all the questions that I ask in my um, Instagram. So let's start it. How did I apply? My classmate um, had also like previously they're doing internship with this organization. As I'm looking forward um, which organization or what kind of internship I want to do. Advisor says like ask your friend um, and also ask for the email information so I ask my friend and then I contact them I send them emails and then Ta -da! that's how I start I apply my internship I just send them email and then we um, fast forward like reply and then that's how it happened perhaps I suggest seeing you like start looking right now like what you kind of internship you want to do like which organization you do like which part like you know public health like it's really really big so you have to know which field like, you like you enjoy when you're doing your internship. what time you start and and your internship we start at 8 a.m. Monday until Thursday we will end at 5 30 but on Friday 2 o'clock by 2 o'clock yes how did I go to my workplace so how did I go to my workplace I'm renting my place nearby my workplace my office we don't have much grape or taxi or MRT so I pick um, very close um, to my workplace so I just work every day so it took me almost um, 15 to 20 minutes um, how long are you doing your in it depend on your requirement of doing internship like how how much credit as for me I have to do 10 credit yeah 600 hour um, so I start doing my internship since the um, June and will be end until um, November I start um, remotely like three months remotely like June until August and September until November will be on set so there has two questions here like what all did you do in your internship what is my role so I think it's similar so what is my role well as I say I'm an internship student learning and they just teach me what should I do so that I mean like remotely like we just have weekly meeting weekly meeting like we just like read the report and then my supervisor will guide me and explain and on set I still doing um, my I mean previous job like editing um, editing report but you know what on set um, I just feel like on set is better like I can feel you know physically going to office um, interact with other people's other worker meet other people's uh, participants contribute um, distributions food I mean we went to house to house and then provide a um, little bit help such as food water a time my role as a photographer so I'm taking the photo and in the for the future program distributions um, I also make a budget make observation um, I went to shop to shop and then check the price join a workshop um, a meeting you know it's very it's very nice I they provide me a lot of food so what clothes you use I don't know about other company I think it's depend on the organization the company policy but for my place like as long as you cover no not too sexy you know visual um, it will be okay yeah, yeah just be like a formal did you learn so far what did I learn so far I learn a lot. You study in class and then you go to the workplace on site. It's totally different. On class, yeah, we learn the theory. The teacher teach us, guide us what to do. And then when you're on site, you have to think 
rationally i mean you have saying is it like gonna impact to other worker i mean you know whatever you do it's like and especially your intern you are there's a a student or you are learning something they they still guide you you still on the observations like you really cannot do much alone so inside the class is just 10 person and the race you have to learn how much you spend every day okay let's start the mo from the morning this is bad this is very bad i really um, eat my my breakfast so i just wake up and then walk directly to my workplace i think i'm so lucky um we have a mother i call mother she will like provide cook for us and for free lunch and for dinner sometimes if i'm lazy i just eat my bread that i I don't know but sometimes if I really hungry I have to go to 7-eleven say in one day maybe zero maybe in one week let's say 100 baht or 200 baht or less than that okay any challenges any challenges basically I'm gonna say um, language barrier yeah they speak Karen they speak Myanmar and also they speak Thai when we have workshop or meeting like that it's a little bit um problematic of course they provide um with a translator so tips to other people to other students you have to know what you want to do i mean the organization that you really really want to do you know you you do what you like and you will have fun and then you will enjoy it you know do what you love so i wish i not miss any question you will enjoy and it will be helpful for you so Thank you for watching, see you for the next video.